So first of all, for our apple pie, we're gonna make a short crust pastry, and it's so easy to do. Yes, you can buy a pre-store-bought one if you want, but making it is really, really nice, and there's nothing like a homemade pie crust. So just into a food processor, I'm gonna be placing in some plain flour, sprinkle it with some salt, and I'm gonna place in some unsalted butter that is chilled, that is nice and cold. So we'll just place the lid on and we'll pulse it a few times until it's just combined. So you can see here we've formed our dough. If you find that your dough is too dry, you can also add in some cold iced water as well, but this is fine. So I've rolled our pastry into the case and some of it tore a little bit because it's a bit hot here today and my pastry isn't playing along. And I'm just filling in those bits and patting it down nice and firm. So onto our apples, I'm using Granny Smith apples that I've just peeled, cored, and then drizzled over some lemon juice just to stop the browning. And now I'm gonna add in some corn flour, corn starch, some caster sugar or super fine sugar. For some spices, I've got some cinnamon and also some ground cloves as well. And you'll see my apples are quite thick because I like my apple pie filling to be quite thick and chunky. I don't want the apples to be really thin and collapse. So just give them a good mix around. In the cooking process, they will ooze out their own beautiful juices. So back over with our pie crust and we're going to just pour in our apples and really be generous because they will collapse a little bit. So we're just gonna place our pie crust over the top and just pinch the sides. And just in the top part here, I'm just gonna make a few incisions just so the steam can come out when those apples start to cook. And just over the top, I'm going to spread over some egg wash, just egg, to sprinkle over some more sugar, caster sugar or super fine sugar just over the top. You could use brown sugar if you want to. Now this goes into a preheated oven at 180 degrees C or 350 Fahrenheit for 50 minutes, just until that crust is golden brown and our pastry's cooked through and it will be delicious. So our apple pie is out of the oven. It smells amazing. Very importantly, you must put this out to rest. Leave it to cool on the countertop for at least 30 to 40 minutes before serving let all those juices just relax down and then we can serve it up. This goes fantastically well with a homemade custard or vanilla ice cream or even some cheddar cheese over the top, believe it or not. In any way, this dish is a star.